Welcome to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio series from the British Council. The Attic, Episode 4. Hello, my name's Amanda Carlton. And I'm David Evans. And in this series, we aim to improve your English language skills with the help of a story about life in an English hotel called Middleton Hall. At the start of the story, we heard that Maria and Kevin were clearing some rubbish from the hotel's attic, when Maria found a small statue of a little girl. They threw it away. They put it in the rubbish bin, because that's what Mrs Middleton told them to do. But then Maria thought that she'd like to keep it. And so, in the last programme, Kevin and Maria went to the hotel's rubbish bins in the middle of the night to try to find it. But Mr Sitwell saw them and was very suspicious. This is what Kevin and Maria said when they got back to the hotel. Well, that was embarrassing. It was a bit. Do you think he knows what we're doing? No, of course not. But he said he had his suspicions. He's just saying that. He doesn't mean it. Actually, I'd like to know what he was doing there at this time of night. Yes, good question. What was he doing there? It's rather strange, isn't it? Anyway, it was a shame we couldn't get that little statue. I know. Oh, well, never mind. We'll try again tomorrow. But they come to collect the rubbish first thing in the morning, remember? Oh, yes. I'd forgotten that. It's not going to be easy, is it? So, if Kevin and Maria want to keep the little statue, they have to save it from the rubbish before it is collected from the hotel. And our first scene today takes place early the next morning. Kevin is trying to unlock the door to the garden. When Sitwell sees him, he says, You're up very early, Kevin. It's only half past six. Kevin explains, you said there was a lot to do today, so I thought I'd take some of these rubbish bags down to the bins. Sitwell then offers to help Kevin, which is not the kind of thing he usually does. So my first question is, why does Sitwell offer to help Kevin? They are then interrupted by Mr Greaves. And here's another question for you. Why is Mr Greaves up so early? Here's the scene. Good. No one here. Right. Oh, of course. It's locked. Now, where's the key? Good morning, Kevin. Oh, Mr. Sidwell. You're up very early, Kevin. It's only half past six. Well, you said there was a lot to do today, so, well, I thought I'd take some of these rubbish bags down to the bins. A very good idea. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to. I can manage. Oh, no. I'd like to help, Kevin. We can have a nice little chat. And you can tell me exactly what you and Maria were doing last night. Ah, uh, now, where's the key for the door? Ah, here it is. Ah, Sidwell. Oh, no. Mr Greaves, you're up very early as well. Is everything all right? No, yes. Didn't I tell you? I've got an early round of golf. I'll just get rid of these rubbish bags then, Mr Sitwell. Oh, yes, yes, all right, Kevin. So why does Sitwell offer to help Kevin? He explains. We can have a nice little chat, and you can tell me exactly what you and Maria were doing last night. Kevin doesn't like that idea at all, but they are then interrupted by Mr Greaves. And why is he up so early? He tells Sitwell, I've got an early round of golf. Kevin sees there is an opportunity to escape from Mr Sitwell, so he goes out into the garden and leaves Mr Sitwell and Mr Greaves together in reception. You're listening to Middleton Hall. 
a Learn English radio series from the British Council. And don't forget that you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. When the scene continues, Mr. Greaves says, It looks like a lovely morning, Sitwell. Sitwell then asks if there's been any news from Mr. Greaves' credit card company. Earlier in the story, we heard that Mr. Greaves had lost his wallet and his credit card, and so he doesn't have any money to pay his hotel bill. When Mr. Greaves says that he hasn't heard any news, Sitwell says, Oh, I am sorry. That is most inconvenient. I do hope it's not going to spoil your stay with us. And here are three questions for you. How is Mr. Greaves going to pay for everything during his stay at the hotel? How does he want to travel to the golf course? And what suggestion does Sitwell make? Here's the scene. It looks like a lovely morning, Sitwell. It does indeed, sir. Now, may I ask, has there been any news from the credit card company? No, nothing yet. They said it could take a couple of days, maybe more. Oh, I am sorry. That is most inconvenient. I do hope it's not going to spoil your stay with us. Not at all. Mr Middleton has said he'll lend me the money for all my expenses until it arrives. Really? Oh, yes. He's a very nice chap. Well, yes, he is, sir. But all your expenses? Yes, that's right. I see. I'll pay him back, Sitwell. Yes, yes, of course you will, sir. Now, can you order me a taxi to the golf course? A, a taxi? Are you sure? There is a bus that goes very close to the golf course, and it would be a lot cheaper. A taxi, Sitwell? Of course, sir. I'll call one right away. Thank you, Sitwell. And uh, put it on my bill. <sighs> Well, how is Mr. Greaves going to pay for everything during his stay at the hotel? He tells Sitwell, Mr. Middleton has said he'll lend me the money for all my expenses. Sitwell is surprised, because it'll be a lot of money. And how does Mr. Greaves want to travel to the golf course? He says, Can you order me a taxi to the golf course? And what suggestion does Sitwell make? He says, There is a bus that goes very close to the golf course. And it would be a lot cheaper. And does Mr. Greaves take Sitwell's advice? No. He says, A taxi, Sitwell, and put it on my bill. You're listening to Middleton Hall, a Learn English radio programme from the British Council. At the start of the next scene, Kevin rushes into the kitchen and says to Maria, I've got it. The little girl. The statue. I've got it. She is surprised and says, I thought they were collecting the rubbish first thing this morning. But Kevin tells her, They were, but I got there first. Maria then looks carefully at the little statue. And my next question is, Has it been damaged? Kevin asks her what she's going to do with it. And what is Maria's answer to that? They then hear Mrs Middleton outside. Maria says, what are we going to do with the statue? She mustn't see it. And so, what do they do with the statue? Let's listen and find out. Maria! Maria! Oh, hello, Kevin. I've got it. What? The little girl. The statue. I've got it. No! But I thought they were collecting the rubbish first thing this morning. They were. But I got there first. Oh, well! Here it is. Let me have a look. Yes. Yes, it looks absolutely fine. It hasn't been damaged at all. That's lucky. Oh, I think it's lovely. How could anyone throw away something like this? Yeah, it is quite nice, I suppose. Anyway, I'm so pleased you saved it, Kevin. Thank you. That's all right. It was easy, really. So... What are you going to do with it? I'm not sure. 
I'll have to keep it somewhere. But I don't really want Mr and Mrs Middleton to see it. It would be embarrassing. Would it? Why? They didn't want it. I mean, Mrs Middleton told us to throw it away. I know, but even so... Can you ask him? Oh, that's her now. What are we going to do? What do you mean? What are we going to do with the statue? She mustn't see it. Well, I don't know. Oh, Kevin, do something. What? Hide it somewhere, Kevin. Quickly. Uh, in this cupboard? Yes. Yes, quickly. Quickly. All right, all right. Ah, here you are. Ah. <laughs> Hello, Mrs Middleton. Is everything OK? Oh, yes. We were just, you know, doing some work. Hmm. Were you really? Oh, yes, yes. It's a busy morning. Do you know something? I have a feeling there is something you're not telling me. Am I right? Well, is there something? No, no, I don't think so. Can you think of anything, Kevin? No, no, I don't think I can. Well, I'm sure I'll find out soon enough. I always do. Now, Kevin, here's a list of things I'd like you to get from the village. Yes, of course, Mrs Middleton, right away. So, has the statue been damaged? Maria says, It looks absolutely fine. It hasn't been damaged at all. And what is she going to do with it? She says, I'm not sure. I'll have to keep it somewhere. But I don't really want Mr and Mrs Middleton to see it. It would be embarrassing. And when they hear Mrs Middleton outside, what do they do with it? Maria says, Hide it somewhere, Kevin. Quickly. Kevin asks her, In this cupboard? And he puts it into the cupboard and closes the door just before Mrs Middleton walks into the room. She realises that something is not quite right and says to them, I have a feeling there is something you're not telling me. Of course, Kevin and Maria don't tell her, so she says, I'll find out soon enough. I always do. And she then asks Kevin to go to the village shop to buy some things, which brings us to the end of the scene. So, will Mrs Middleton find out about the little statue? What is Maria going to do with it now? And how much more money is Mr Greaves going to borrow from Mr Middleton? Join us again for the next episode in our story, The Attic. Now here's a chance to hear a part of today's drama again. Good. No one here. Right. Oh, of course. It's locked. Now, where's the key? Good morning, Kevin. Oh, Mr Sibwell. You're up very early, Kevin. It's only half past six. Well, you said there was a lot to do today, so, well, I thought I'd take some of these rubbish bags down to the bins. A very good idea. Let me give you a hand. Oh, no, no, no. There's no need to. I can manage. Oh, no. I'd like to help, Kevin. We can have a nice little chat. And you can tell me exactly what you and Maria were doing last night. Ah, uh, now, where's the key for the door? Here it is. Ah, Sidwell. Oh, no. But that's all for today. You've been listening to Middleton Hall, a British Council Learn English radio series. And remember, you can find more resources at the British Council Learn English website at learnenglish.britishcouncil.org. Until next time, from Amanda Carlton and me, David Evans. Goodbye. Goodbye.